everyone. It's Bonnie. Happy Thursday. I am back. I'm feeling a little like Johnny Cash today. Oh my gosh. I'm in all black. It's so gray and awful out. The weird thing is it's warm and kind of humid, but it's like wet and we're supposed to get tornadoes tonight. I'm like, oh yay. Welcome to Northeast Ohio. I went out and got my tea. And uh, yeah, we got a lot to talk about this morning. So candle sale um rant update i'm so excited to talk about uh the rant i did yesterday <laughs> and then i have a little bit of news from life inside the page tess about when summer is going to start launching because i know a lot of you are wondering about that so uh first of all i'm going to talk about my rant i've never done a full-on rant that was kind of fun i don't think it was too uh extreme <laughs> It's so funny because for some reason, I was just like micro focused on the musk scent. And I actually read every single one of your comments. I commented on a few. I was just reading last night. And um, everyone left really good input. I learned a lot. And um, I think it answered a couple of questions. But I still think that Bath & Body Works is using the word musk a little too much and it gets confusing. So what I learned, and I actually think this is cool, of course, I'm a girl of the 70s and I'm like, that's right, Jovan Musk. I forgot. That was a really big 70s thing that you were gonna, like wearing these scents that like attracted people, you know, and it was like oh, you're going to wear this scent in your Jordache jeans and your Calvin Klein, and um, you'd get a date. So <laughs> that was like a big thing in the 70s. So Avon actually did the same thing. They had a lot of like musk scents. But I think the difference, and I was trying to figure out why that wasn't like at the forefront of my mind. And I'm like, you know what? They just went full on and they were like Jovan Musk. They would just flat out call it Musk. Whereas what Bath & Body Works is doing is they're taking a scent like Hello Beautiful and they're adding like a musk note or they're doing Everlasting Magic and they're calling it Magic Musk. I would rather them just call the scent like what it is. Like come up with a flashy marketing name, I don't know, Soft Musk. Um, so that way you kind of know what you get. I think for me... Um, the confusion is more about the marketing than it is the actual sense. I feel like the word musk is overused and um, I feel like it's difficult for people that are shopping online to try and figure out what a scent is. I mean, it's funny. After I went through the list, I'm like, okay, we have these categories. We have like airy musk. We have soft musk. We have clean musk. And um, after you kind of like figure out the cadence, it does make a little more sense. But like I said, if you're just like finding Bath & Body Works, ordering online, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to interpret um, these different like magic musk. I still, I'm still not getting that. I think you could just insert Greg right in there. Magic Greg. <laughs> so anyway, um, I really enjoyed reading everyone's comments yesterday. That was truly fascinating. I think it's fun to have conversations about this kind of stuff um, because it can be confusing. So anyway, uh, that was a fun rant. I should I, I should do another rant sometime. Maybe I'll think of something else to rant about. I don't know. I gotta be in a mood. <laughs> So anyway, um, today Bath and Body Works is doing fourteen ninety five on the candles. Maybe that should be a rant. Fourteen ninety five is not a good deal. If you happen to have a twenty percent off coupon, um, it's a little better. But this is not a candle sale uh, to write home about. Um, that takes you down to eleven ninety six. So if you have a twenty percent off coupon. It's a better deal. I don't even know if there's any coupons floating around out there, honestly. Um, the other one that it's a better deal on, of course, is the Bridgerton because these are $29.95. Um, the glass lid Bridgerton uh, Diamond of the Season is like $32. So, um, yeah, these are a better deal. But still, we just had a better candle sale a couple of weeks ago. We're supposed to be getting um, Asian Pacific Heritage Month. Uh, candles coming soon. I don't know where those are. I think those are going to fit sometime between now and summer. 
Next thing we're going to be getting, of course, is the Mother's Day bag. I don't know when that's launching. Um, could be, like, soon. I'm guessing it's going to... I didn't even look on the app. Uh, did they announce it today on the app? I should have looked. Um, it's a pretty bag, I gotta say, but if you don't like Brightest Bloom, you're probably not going to be all that interested. No, I'm not even seeing it. So they're still launching, you know, they're still promoting Bridgerton. I feel like Bridgerton has kind of died down. I don't feel like the promo on Bridgerton um, lasted very long. So we may be seeing that for semi-annual. I don't know. It's just kind of a weird um, lull that we're in. I feel like the Mother's Day collection candles, this latest one, are not all that popular. I mean, I don't think they're terrible. Where'd my other one go with the flowers on it? Um... I just don't think anyone was in like, oh my gosh, I have to have this set of candles. Um, this was the sparkling watermelon uh, with the odd cantaloupe in it. So I feel like the Bridgerton candles were more exciting. Um, it's funny, a lot of people are commenting on this candle. I said it smelled like a tacrum, liniment oil, and flypaper. Oh my gosh, it does. Every time I smell this one. I'm like, I'm back at the bar and I'm like 12 years old, uh, put liniment oil on my horse. So anyway, um, flypaper, what is flypaper? So when you're in a barn, flies are a problem. So they have like this, like back in the eighties, it would look like a can of film almost. And what you would do is you'd unroll it and it was like a spiral sticky paper and you'd hang it up in the barn and um, the flies would, like, stick to it. So that was, like, our fly solution. <laughs> so um, it had, like, a weird odor, though, the fly paper. <laughs> Tacrim, liniment oil, and fly paper. That's what I'm renaming this candle. Uh, so anyway, um, just I don't feel like any of the candles right now are overly exciting. Um, I'm going to start doing some more um, collaborative-type videos where I do, like, Apple, blueberry, you know, I, I know people like doing those. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue with my organization because I'm definitely on an organizational kick here. And then summer, everyone's like, when can we see summer? I just headed over to Tessa's blog, Life Inside the Page, and it looks like around May 12th. When is Mother's Day this year? May 12th. See, that coincides. So right after Mother's Day, they're going to launch summer. We don't know yet. Uh, Tess did have the sweet strawberry scoop in the hand soap up, so that was exciting. It looks cute. Looked like little pink flamingos, I think. So anyway, summer will be coming sooner than later, and then, of course, we'll just launch in a semi-annual sale. So um, I'm going to keep uh, coming up with some creative ideas to uh, share about the Body Works with you guys. I have a lot of other companies uh, to share, too. Let me know what you think of the um, this, the candle sale today. It's kind of eh. Do we, we have a soap sale today, too, don't we? Um, I didn't even, I didn't even, like... It didn't even register because it's not that exciting. Um, yeah, hand soap's three ninety five. Not that exciting. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Bye bye.